Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Uh, slightly different video today. Um, talk about my coffee grinder. Um, my this is a Mazda Mini Electronic A. Um, so I haven't cleaned this for a long, long time. So I'm just having a look how dirty it is, clean it, and see whether I need to replace the 64 mil uh, burrs. They this is a standard burrs. Um, so I'm just looking at uh, other brands. Have to remove the s screw first on here, and then um, this is the finest it is. So this is pretty much zero setting. And then to unscrew it, you've got to rotate it uh, towards the course direction. Um, you can use the handle to help until it's loose enough to use uh, to do by hand. Just doing that now, and then oh, you've got to remember to take out the hopper screw as well, otherwise it can't come up. Took it out, and it's pretty grim. Um, the birds actually looked okay. Uh, they need a good cleaning, and they were actually still sharp to the touch. So I'm not quite sure whether I need to replace them. I can still grind fine enough for espresso, but whether I need to replace them, well, maybe uh, you can leave a comment below whether I need to replace them. Some people said that if it's shiny, then I need to replace it. If it's dull, I don't. So I'm not quite sure how that, um, does that apply? So to take out the middle, un you undo the three screws and then to get it out you've just got to try and loosen it either by finger or like me I'm going to use for the next shot a wooden uh, chopstick just to try and nudge it out and underneath it's okay, it's clean enough but on the side it's pretty grim. So just using a basically a paintbrush to brush out all the crumbs and then using a so the toothpick to get so out all the finer stuff. That's Katen. If you can oh. see, I'm not sure whether do I need no to replace it. On it, it as good. I said, it grinds fine enough for espresso shot. And that's all smooth and it's actually sharp. What do you guys think? There's no nicks or anything. It is slightly shiny where the, where the sharpness is. So just using toothpicks, brushes, chopsticks to get rid of all the uh, coffee that's in there. And then paper towel, give it a good wipe. Uh, I also use some alcohol wipes uh, just to try and get rid of the oils. Uh, this is the top burr, so I'm just undoing that. Same thing, three screws. Uh, try not to strip your screws if you can and uh, check in underneath and the birds look okay as well So see so you're using a toothpick just to get all the stuff out Inside the same using a brush And a toothpick underneath just to push it down into this uh, chute um, I also used uh, air duster. This is actually for computers, but I just placed it gently on on a cloth, so I don't scratch the grinder. And then I just uh, use compressor just to blow out all the thing, all the um, really fine coffee particles. Works. So I tried taking this bottom part off, but couldn't quite figure out how to take it off. Whether you can take it off or not. Um, so anyway, I just cleaned it as best I could and put everything back together. So 
So a screw there. Uh, try not to strip the screws. So at some point you're going to need to use the handle to, to help you tighten it a bit more. And then if you can, find your zero setting and give it a mark. This is my rocket Selene espresso machine. Uh, I've done 5,000 odd, uh, 5,000 plus grinds on it. So I'm just going to pull a shot. I'm going to use. Oh, there's a dog. Good boy. He's always observing me. Okay, back to coffee. So this is 18 grams of uh, beans grinded. Um, the grind setting is completely off. So haven't got any distribution tools or anything like that or rakes. Uh, that's coming in soon. Uh, so I just gave it a quick temp. And as you can see, it's way, way, way too coarse and too fast. So I pretty much stopped it. There you go. And the second time round was tiny little bit better, but still way, way too fast. Um, ended up taking probably about 150 grams of beans to dial it in. Uh, now I can pull 18 grams of beans, can give me about uh, 38-ish grams of espresso within about 20 seconds. This is the last time I did it before my batteries ran out, before my phone died on me. So I couldn't, uh, I couldn't record anymore. So yeah. Thank you for watching. Uh, yeah, please leave a comment below. Thank you for watching.